So uh, today's uh, topic of webinar, as Manika uh, mentioned, is Married Women Property Act, also called MWPA. Uh, and the theme is uh, create encumbrance free assets for your family. So, uh, you know, all of uh, all of you are businessmen. Uh, proprietor, if you are a businessman for, for especially a proprietorship or unlimited partnership, and if you were to face a sudden loss in business with unpaid loans and debt, do you know that creditors and not your spouse or children can sell off your land, your house, mutual funds, your cars, jewelry, etc. And they will have the first right on the money received. Haven't you heard of families where relatives have fraudulently siphoned off money, especially the insurance money received by the wife after her husband's death? I'm sure you would have uh, you know, heard about uh, this. Uh, in your circle, in your families uh, around you, uh, in your friend circle. Uh, so the question is, is this avoidable? Well, this is definitely avoidable. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'll come to that, uh, how, uh, you know, we can avoid this. Uh, but let me give you a background that MWPA, it's such a simple concept, is as simple as smile, but more than 99% of buyers in India have probably never heard of MWPA. And if you are in that group, you won't believe how powerful MWPA is until I take you through the presentation. So friends, uh, uh, you know, uh, let's uh, recap what we did. So we, we had a, a session, we had a webinar on 10th of February, <clears throat> where we discussed about generally about business solutions, which uh, an insurance company uh, uh, and as Aviva, we can provide to MSMEs. Uh, so just a little bit about that and then we will proceed to the main concept, main topic of today, which is MWPA. Uh, so uh, as businessmen, you are donning uh, multiple hats. So your role is a multifaceted role. You are a business owner. So as a business owner, you uh, the, the objective is to protect yourself, your key people in the organization. Uh, and if it's a partnership firm, protecting the the uh, the partnership uh, or the or the financials involved in the partnership uh, if you are an employer uh, it's uh, it's it's uh, it's always uh, you know your main aim to uh, you know facilitate the uh, employees and make sure that they that you retain the best employees in the organization and uh, apart from these two uh, hats i think it's, it's the very important hat the most critical hat which all of us wear and which you are wearing is uh, the head of the family. You know, as, as the head of the family, it's it's our responsibility to protect our uh, uh, families, our, our kids, our wives uh, from the, uh, uh, you know, the economic or certain losses uh, which can arise from death or from business losses. So, the, so, so uh, here the uh, encumbrance free exclusive asset for wife and children comes in, which is MWPA. <coughs> So I'll take you, uh, I'll give you a few examples <clears throat> and I'll, I'll also, uh, you know, take you to the business risks, which all of you, uh, you know, you are uh, facing on a daily basis. So there are two types of business risks, which one is controlled and the other one is uncontrolled business risk. <clears throat> so the uncontrolled business risk uh, in today's world is, uh, uh, has, is becoming much more prominent uh, because of the uh, Consumer Protection Act, Act getting very, very active. <clears throat> now, uh, are we involved, evolved enough to manage the uncertainties in our business? That's the that's the primary question. I think that the uh, that the Indian businesses are not uh, <clears throat> not mature enough to handle these certain uncertainties. So there is all the more need to plan for certain certain uncertainties. So there are a couple of examples given. So there was a uh, there was a movie. Uh, of Rajnikanth, which is called Kusilan. <clears throat> so, you know, Rajnikanth, uh, you know, is, all of us know know that uh, he's a kind of superstar and anybody can bet on him. Uh, so the producers uh, betted on him, uh, you know, the distributors betted on him, uh, but the movie bombed at the box office. And uh, the producer and, and the distributors, they had to suffer uh, major losses. And Rajnikanth uh, is, you know, he, uh, you know, he, uh, from his humility and humbleness, he said that he will bear the losses to save the distributors. So that was like an uncertain, <clears throat> certain uncertainty which which had hit him. 
similarly there is you know there was a case of medical negligence where the supreme court had asked the hyderabad hospital to pay rupees 1 crore compensation to a bangalore based software engineer again you know uh, from these examples and from the examples which are uh, around us uh, <clears throat> so abcl corporation amitabh bachan's corporation satyam sahara the recent one and vijayawalia so uh, you know these all uh, examples are uh, you know certain uh, examples of certain uncertainties and there are so the question is do, can we create assets which are exclusively for the family and the answer is that we can and the assets can be created for your family and as assets which, which are exclusively for your uh, for your kids and for your family for your uh, wife so why do we need a why should we secure a separate asset for a family so the you know we need peace of mind for estate planning for leaving a legacy you know parents with special needs especially you know mwb is suitable for them so <clears throat> life insurance policy is uh, life insurance i'll come to uh, life insurance as an asset so life insurance is a is a long term asset and uh, it becomes an exclusive asset for your family if it is endorsed by mwba so life insurance policy is recognized as a financial asset it's a long term asset life insurance is unique because it works on the concept of create and save while other asset classes work on the concept of save and create so what's the difference between these two concepts so for example <clears throat> so if you were to uh, create a uh, let's say create an asset worth 10 crore rupees Uh, or uh, you have to you were to supposed to buy a building of 10 crore rupees or or an office of 10 crore rupees you will you know uh, spend on that invest on that from your personal savings and the funding which you can get from a bank but so but in life insurance it's the opposite it's you can create a 10 crore asset right from day one and pay for it uh, uh, you know on a on a quarterly or on on uh, on an annual basis so life insurance is create and save whereas uh other assets you have to save and create those assets so this asset can be created for self and for others like spouse children members uh, in an huf business partners key employees uh, and depending on the purpose all all the employees of the uh, organization uh, life insurance can be used as a collateral security also so i'll come to the uh, before going to the advantages of mwpa Uh, or life insurance uh, getting endorsed with MWPA. Let me tell you that there are other methods in which uh, the family uh, or the members of the family can be protected, and those are nomination, will, assignment, and then comes MWPA. So I will take you through, you know, briefly through the <clears throat> through the advantages and limitations of each of these. So in nomination, nomination is a is a, is an easy claim settlement. nomination is an easy claim settlement with a, with an insurance company the limitation is that nominee does not have the right to money so nominee is only the custodian of the money and nomination can be challenged by legal heirs will is easy to create it can be created on a uh, plain piece of paper and it can uh, uh, it can be registered uh, will which is uh, a much stronger a stronger proposition uh, so will clearly defines what asset goes to whom it stands valid in the court of law and it supersedes nomination but the limitations of will are that probate of will is required to put a claim legal procedure is involved in this it can be challenged in the court of law legal uh, the uh, you know legal heirs and other family members can challenge the will in uh, in court of law so it does not prevent creditors to put a claim on the asset so multiple wills can uh, complicate uh, allocation and separation of assets so there is another concept which is called assignment which is a legal way to mark an individual or institution as the beneficiary of a policy uh, however assignment also involves justification why uh, you know we are assigning let's say we are assigning a policy to a bank then what is the reason of assigning the policy to a bank so th this involves justification there is lot of paperwork at the time of assignment and nomination stands cancelled automatically uh, because assignment supersedes nomination and will so uh, you know then comes mwpa which is a very very strong concept and uh, can be this can be marked by husband for the benefit of wife or children or both so this can be a life insurance policy endorsed with mwpa bought with mwpa 
कैन बी यू नो सोल कैन बी प्लेस सोलली फॉर द बेनिफिट ऑफ वाइफ और चिल्ड्रन और फॉर बोथ सो नो क्रेडिटर कैन क्लेम फॉर अटैचमेंट अगेंस्ट लाइबिलिटी ऑफ हस्बेंड पॉलिसी अंडर एमडब्ल्यू पी ए कैनॉट बी असाइंड and it's the best way to secure over nomination will or assignment uh, the limitations of mwpa are that it can be done only by married males uh, can be taken only at the start of uh, an insurance policy and not in between the uh, policy and also it's not applicable in jnk so it's applicable elsewhere or all across india it's not applicable in jnk so married women property act was established in 1874 and it's a legal tool to protect your family against unfor uh, unforeseen unfortunate circumstances so uh, uh, friends uh, when all is going according to the plan that is your uh, as i said that is your best bet but what if one day circumstances change so breadwinner of the family dies or there is a in insolvency of your business policy so if you see uh, you know uh, there is a slide where you can see why is it not going guys so sorry for the uh, interruption there was some technical error uh, so if you uh, uh, go to the slide and you will see that you know uh, we have captured a uh, you know few uh, snippets of the uh the national dailies and uh, uh, financial uh, newspapers 
so they they've been talking about this concept and they've been trying to make people aware of this concept and if you see uh, financial express uh, on uh, 2016 talking about life insurance under married women property act then there is business standard uh, you know article credit proof investments so they talk about if a creditor demands recovery of dues through court insurance policies are also entitled to be attached to protect policies from creditors individuals should buy life insurance policy under mwpa if done so then maturity surrender or death proceeds out of a policy will be the property of the beneficiaries and no creditor of the policy holder can claim anything so it means that a policy a simple policy the proceeds from a simple policy simple policy when i say it means that without the endorsement of mwpa when you know people go and buy uh, life insurance policies without uh, mwpa those proceeds from those policies can be attached or can be uh, you know can be questioned in the court of law by uh, by creditors by tax authorities by relatives by you know people around you but if the policy is bought under this concept no no creditor no tax authority and no uh, uh, you know relatives or siblings can stake a claim on on the proceeds of the business so simil similarly there is a there is an article which says that nine things people overlook while buying a life insurance business standard says safety nets to protect your wealth so it's you know uh, there's been uh, a campaign uh, in the uh, uh, in these newspapers uh, about MWPA. It's the campaign is to make people aware of this act, but still, unfortunately, still the you know the awareness remains as low as uh, it can be. So coming, uh, I'll just uh, touch touch uh, uh, base about the technicalities of uh, the of the act. So the act was established in 1874 under Section 6 of the act. A married man, a widower, or a divorced man can buy uh, an MWPA, and a trust, a deemed trust, is assigned the responsibility of managing this estate. Estate. So when I say a deemed trust, it's not that you know we have to go and there's some uh, you know complex method of making a trust. The trust is formed only by signing a simple single pager, and there are only four four questions uh, on that single pager, and that trust is automatically created. So we don't need it. There is no com complexity uh, uh, of making uh, creating a trust. Money held in this trust cannot be attached by creditors, as I told you. So no creditor can attach this money, even through a civil court decree. Only wife and or children uh, can be beneficiaries under the same. So uh, key benefits again, encumbrance free asset, exclusive assets for wife and children, financial security for wife and children against creditors so uh, again the uh, you know merits uh, as I told you no litigation no creditor creditors cannot attach the money uh, the proceeds of the life insurance policy and there is just one wise this is just one wise step that can ensure or secure your family's uh, future so how does this work simple buy a life insurance policy market under MWPA sign one pager addendum uh, to identify beneficiaries and trustees and uh, you know I have also placed uh, that addendum that's a single page addendum and I placed that addendum in the presentation just to tell you how simple uh, that one pager looks and how simple it, it takes only 30 seconds to make a trust uh, so that trust is formed to asset uh, uh, so to ring fence the assets uh, which you have created for solely for the purpose of uh, your uh, family for for your wife and for your kids so mechanics of MWPA provision can be attached to most of the life insurance policies almost all the life insurance policies can be bought under MWPA as I told you a deemed trust is created and entrusted with the responsibility of managing the estate uh, created through the life insurance policy the trustee may be an individual 18 years or above so a trustee can be an individual uh, beneficiaries can also be made uh, trustees in this case or it can be an organization it can be a bank also it can be uh, uh, a chosen organization uh, uh, you know uh, on whom the trust is there so trustee uh, when you say that you form a trust it means that those people on whom you trust so it can be the beneficiary as I told you it can be a bank or uh, they can be two or more persons uh, or any other organization so in case a claim arises 
the benefit is paid to the trust, which in turn pays it to the beneficiaries. So simple, if a claim arises, benefit is goes to the trust, trust in turn hand, uh, hands over the money to the beneficiaries. So policy <coughs> with MWPA becomes a trust property uh, and hence can, can't be used for financial gains. So, uh, uh, so when when uh, the policy matures or, or there is uh, uh, you know a maturity claim or a death claim, the money goes to the trust and it becomes a trust property and uh, cannot be misused. So the, it's it becomes the moral responsibility of the trust to hand over the money to the beneficiaries. So I've, uh, I was talking about this uh, sample addendum. So if you see, it's uh, on slide number 17. So this sample addendum is very simple. You can right now, if you are in front of your systems, you can see that there are only four questions, which takes only about 30 seconds to fill. And this becomes uh, uh, an asset, a long-term asset, which, uh, which uh, you know, on which you can be sure that cannot be uh, misused by anyone. So. Uh, just a simple uh, form. So the first question is, uh, it's applicable for married men. And second is, do you reside in any Indian state other than JNK? And the third is the name of the beneficiaries. And the fourth is that you sign there and it becomes a uh, trust and the policy, the insurance policy gets uh, endorsed by MWPA. So, uh, so friends, it was, uh, you know, uh, uh, a very very uh, it's a, it's a very very simple uh, uh, procedure to endorse a fam uh, endorse a life insurance policy with MWPA. So I will just uh, take a few more minutes to take you through <clears throat> the case studies uh, where you know uh, the MWPA have helped or uh, could have helped uh, if you know the policies were bought under MWPA. So uh, you know the first case is about Rajat Sharma who you know, owned a factory that manufactured corrugated boxes. And there was a tragedy that struck Rajat when his factory was gutted in a fire accident. Everything in the factory was destroyed. Rajat had insured his factory against all possible risks, include damage due to fire. He raised the claim of two and a half crores, which included claim of goods destroyed in fire worth around one crore. After investigation, insurance company rejected the claim of rupees 80 lakh for damaged goods. So there was a survey conducted by the insurance company and the company found uh, that you know the claim is uh, uh, not right and they rejected 80 lakhs uh, from the claim amount. The reason cited by the insurance company was that on only stocks worth 20 lakhs were inside the factory when the incidents of fire took place. So there was an argument between Rajat and the insurance company. So Rajat argued that uh, you know 50 lakhs was ready to be shipped out next day morning so that there was a stock which was lying inside the factory uh, which was about to be shipped uh, uh, the next morning. These goods were already built, transit node prepared, gate pass was issued. Also he had received raw material worth rupees 30 lakh late in the evening which was yet to be updated on the company records. Insurance company countered saying that as per company records goods worth rupees 50 lakh has been shipped out and so there was an argument so a company was not you know giving the entire claim so now rajat uh, is was uh, in a big trouble so what could have uh, what could rajat uh, do to avoid the situation what could he have done so such instances can lead to a debt and also in a worst case attachment of assets a policy bought under mwpa will not be included in the assets of rajat so all other assets movable immovable assets uh, can be uh, attached uh, to to pay the money uh, which Rajat owes to the uh, uh, to the distributors, but the policy bought under MWPA will not be included in the assets of Rajat. So this is the beauty of the concept. Similarly, there is uh, uh, another uh, situation where Mr. Sankran, uh, you know, uh, forty year old, his family lives happily in their independent house in Chennai. His family comprises of a wife, eight-year-old daughter, and a five-year-old son. So Sankran is a worried man today, although he's living happily, but he's still still worried and he's still under tension that you know he's borrowed rupees 20 crores to expand his business. He's confident that as long as he lives, he will be able to provide all comforts to his family. So that is the situation uh, with all of us. So we think that we will live to till eternity, but you know, 
uh, that's not the case and uh, uh, similarly for sankran so he has taken such a huge loan on his head so he you know he's under stress that you know if he lives he'll be able to pay it off but if he doesn't then you know uh, how will the family uh, pay off the loan and survive so he's worried in case something unfortunate was to happen to him who will provide for his family the recent death of his dear friend has really shaken him his friend's family is fighting in court against debt debtors to save their assets so he really is worried about his own family so he has, he has a case where you know his friend died and you know uh, his uh, his, uh, his friend's family was fighting uh, against debtors so so he thinks that you know the same case should not happen to him and his family so he's looking for a solution to his uh, uh, to this predicament so uh, the solution here is a term plan a pure insurance plan bought under mwpa can be a separate and exclusive asset for the wife and children mr sankran's family could have been better placed had there been a policy under mwpa which could not be attached by the creditors so if he had bought a policy under mwpa there was no way this policy uh, you know if something uh, was supposed to happen to sankran this policy or the proceeds from this policy would not uh, could not be attached by the creditor so it, it so it gives a peace of mind uh, to mr sankran so you know buying a policy under mwpa it's a huge peace of mind similarly mr patel who lives in ahmedabad his family comprises of wife a uh, 20 year old son a 17 year old daughter he has a flourishing garments manufacturing business his son is actively involved in business and uh, his daughter wants to become a doctor she aspires to do post graduation in surgery ramlal wants to give his business to his son however he also wants to give his daughter a due share in the family property so what's the solution here so the solution is that mr ramlal can buy a savings plan under mwpa and name his daughter as the beneficiary this will ensure that benefits are paid to his daughter only and not even his wife or son can claim anything from that policy again such a you can see the power of this simple yet uh, uh, beautiful and powerful tool which is mwpa similarly mr banerji you know uh, lives in calcutta his family comprises of a, a wife a son a daughter in law and grandchildren so uh, he is about to retire from an mnc so again uh, you know these case studies if you see uh, you know simple case studies to go to go through but if you see you know uh, they, uh, these are uh, real life examples and we are living these examples almost on a daily basis so the uh, the solution to these uh, worries and tensions and stresses is Uh, uh mwpa which is married women property act so again a uh, film distribution a case from film dis uh, film uh, distribution uh a film distribution uh, distributor kundan nahata is shaken up with the news of another film distribution uh, distributor virinder is a sudden death more upsetting was the news that his family is now on roads so again if you can see virinder you know if, if you see from the uh, story here virender had recently purchased a distribution rights of uh, you know a movie which bombed at the bo box office so virender expected that movie to be in a 100 crore uh, club but unfortunately unfortunately the movie miserably bombed and could hardly do a business of few crore rupees unable to bear the loss and pressure of repaying the finances virender suffered a heart attack and he died his entire property was attached to pay the dues to his creditors his family now penniless is reduced to misery the only saving grace was a policy under mwpa in, and uh, mr kundan inspired by his friend uh, virender is also thinking aloud uh, about the same kundan now uh, knows the risk associated with his business and does not want his family to survive on charity so he you know he's uh, he so life insurance policy again under mwpa secure a separate asset for wife and children it can be a savings plan it can be a term plan and uh, it can be uh, a whole life plan that can create uh, that can be uh, bought under or endorsed by mwpa so uh, uh, so i friends uh, this uh, so i'll i come to the end of the uh, almost the end of the presentation so i'll uh, again uh, uh, kind of reiterate that mwpa helps create an encumbrance free estate for your family and secure them financially 
MWPA also serves an alternative to your professional indemnity by securing your family's interest. So, uh, how can Aviva help you? Aviva can help you uh, in many ways. Uh, uh, we have a team of experts. We we are experienced and we have expertise in dealing with MSMEs, and we provide uh, customer-made uh, financial solutions, and uh, we provide uh, these financial solutions uh, to to the MSMEs. So if you have any queries, you can uh, you can um, uh, get back to me or Manika here in CIA or come to our visit our website uh, avivaindia.com slash SME world, which is there in the which is mentioned. The link is mentioned in the presentation. And we will be glad to address your queries. Thank you. Uh, So, uh, so I'll take the question, uh, question answers, uh, questions and answers. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll answer your questions and queries. Uh, but uh, before that, uh, you know, there is a survey for the next webinar. Which uh, so there are three topics uh, which we can talk about. Like we talked about MWPA in this webinar. There is a uh, business protection for a partnership firm. That is topic topic number one. Topic number two is financial tools to check attrition in your work workforce. So you all must be facing uh, uh, attrition in, at your workplace. So how can we uh, put a check to to that attrition? So we have financial tools to to help you with it, with that. Number three is legacy planning for uh, kids and grandkids. So uh, you know these are three topics on which we can talk uh, about in, in our next webinar. So you can choose one of these topics and let us know which uh, topic would you uh, prefer. Uh, uh, to to listen to in the next webinar. Thank you. Uh, so I uh, there.